Sergio says, from the top of my head, what you have just said, does it mean from the back of my mind? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. When we say, actually, usually it's off the top of my head, right? Off the top of my head. Some people might say from, but usually it's off the top of my head or in the back of my mind. Actually, these two are very separate, very different. Let's talk about how they're used and what they mean. If someone says, I just came up with it, off the top of my head, off the top of my head, it means something is spontaneous. Something is in the moment. You didn't plan it. You come up with it right here, right now, right? Like my reply to this question. Right? When I answer these questions, I don't have time to prepare for them because you just asked the question and I'm just answering it. So everything I'm saying, everything that's coming out of my mouth right now in my explanation of these two is off the top of my head, right? So there's an element of spontaneity or improvisation or thinking on your feet or explaining something in the moment that you just grab as though it were sitting on top of your head, right? Now, sometimes, like I've used in the past, sometimes we'll say it when we can't think of anything. There are times when people ask me questions and I know that there might be a good example of how to use this grammar that would fit, but because someone has just asked me and I haven't had time to think about it, I can't think of anything. I can't think of how it would work off the top of my head. Let me do some research and get back to you. Let me think about it and get back to you. Let me look it up online and get back to you. That happens, right? Sometimes a question is a little complicated, like the word though, right? And I need to really think about it and work on it for a couple days. Sometimes, sometimes. Now with this question, it's relatively straightforward. I know it. I know how to explain it. It's easy to explain. I can give examples and explain it off the top of my head. No big deal, right? So that's how we would use it. Someone says, ah, oh, let's, why don't we go hiking at Bull Hill tomorrow? Well, where'd you get that idea? I just got it off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds good. Someone is being spontaneous. Now, in the back of my mind is different. There's no relationship between these two phrases. If something is in the back of your mind, it's there in your consciousness, but you're probably not talking about it or mentioning it. And often we describe being in a situation and having a thing there that is unspoken. What do I mean by there? In your thoughts, swimming in your thoughts, right? Whenever I meet him in the back of my mind, I remember what he said to me 10 years ago, the insult that he, that he made and how much it hurt me. In the back of my mind, I'm always thinking that even though now we are colleagues and we're even good friends. Sometimes that comes up and it's always in the back of my mind. Okay. In the back of my mind suggests it's just sort of in my awareness, even though it's unmentioned, unspoken, right? Sometimes you want to use that to remind somebody to do something or have something there, maybe to protect them. Just sort of keep it in the back of your mind. Keep it in the back of your mind that there are a lot of people on that street who are going to try to scam you. All right, so you're going to a place where there are a lot of tourists and I'm giving you advice about where to go. There's a really cool restaurant on this street. Let's, let's say we're talking about uh, Bali, okay? Bali is a very cool place, very cool island. When you go there, there's a great restaurant. They have Thai food or there's another one. Maybe they have great, great Indonesian food, whatever it is. Just keep in the back of your mind, though, that there are some people walking around trying to scam you, trying to get you to maybe sign up for things or buy things that are actually a lot more expensive than they should be. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Keep that in your awareness as you walk around on the street in Bali, maybe trying to find the restaurant that I recommend. I'm giving you that as some advice. Before, when I was talking about my friend or colleagues or friends, but this person said something very insulting to me 10 years ago, and it still kind of floats around in there when I'm in a situation where we're talking about something or discussing something. It's in the back of my mind. So it's very useful for warnings, recommendations, 
and just describing how we feel in a situation with someone or when we're in a situation with others. That's usually how it's used. But these two, just to be clear, off the top of my head and, not from, off the top of my head and in the back of my mind, they're different. Very, very different. Hopefully that's clear. Sergio, good question. Guys, thumbs up. Don't forget, also subscribe and check out my courses in the links in the description. Thank you.